prosecution used your son's own words against you. And now he's got to live with that. Because they dangled his son as a carrot in front of him. They told him repeatedly, call your mom, do this, and we will go help you get your son. Are it's, you good with Stephen, yes, your son now? Yes. I mean, am I still bothered by the fact my son had an affair? Yeah. Does that, but that doesn't, yes, I love him. Am I hurt by what he did? No, because if someone told me, place a phone call like this and I'll help you go get your kid. If I know I haven't done anything wrong, I know my mom hasn't done anything wrong, what's it going to hurt if you're going to go get my kid? For him, for your son, Stephen, to assist the police in that phone call, have you forgiven him? Yeah. Can you two reconcile? Are you on good terms? I would say so. I haven't had contact because I wasn't allowed to have contact with him during all this time. There was also a, a video recording that was also entered into evidence. Mm -hmm. When the jury asked for those exhibits, what are you thinking? That they'll see the coercion that they used to make him, to get him to make that phone call. And I think if they would have seen the other parts of the tape where they actually put him in handcuffs, threatened him with arrest, maybe it would have made a difference. And when they came back with a guilty verdict, my heart, like I said, fell out of my chest because I thought, what if he thinks that it was him making that phone call that made them go guilty? And I pray that's not it. I don't want him to have to carry that kind of a guilt burden. So you sit in jail after a guilty verdict in your murder case and you're worried about the guilt your son is carrying. Is that right? Yeah. What was the toughest decision that you and your defense team had to make during the trial? <laughs> I don't know. Did testifying or not testifying, I'd say maybe. What were your feelings? about whether to testify. With no physical evidence to put me at the scene or no DNA to put in anything that I own. The fact that every eyewitness said no, I can't identify her sitting in the courtroom today, that it was a person who was five foot seven to five foot nine. I'm five foot four, 140, 290 pounds. I weigh 110 pounds. Never weighed any more in my life. With people coming in slandering my name, it would be my word against their word. It didn't feel like that's something the jury, I mean, it's my ex-husband saying I did it or me saying, no, I never did that. I mean, there wasn't a lot of evidence to refute for me to have to take the stand.